right, this next one, if I wasn't excited about that order, I am so excited about this next one. divines welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is jocelyn i'm the owner of divine love bath co in colorado if you're new to my channel i make a ton of items candles bath bombs soaps shower steamers body butters the list just kind of goes on and on i have been catching up on stuff i at the end of last week's vlog i said i needed to get to bath bombs I do. I'm going to try to, today is Tuesday. It's already about 5 p.m., but I'm a night owl anyway, so I'll probably start on a couple of batches of bath bombs tonight. I said that I was going to start on large or the mini bath bombs, but I think I'm going to do both at the same time because the limiting factor is my drying trays. I only have so many drying trays for the minis and I only have so many drying trays for the for the larger ones. So if I can make a few of each each day, let them dry, paint the ones I need to paint, get them packaged, and then repeat that cycle over and over again until I'm done, I think I will be a lot more efficient and get a lot done a lot faster. Today though, before I get started on bath bombs, I wanted to show you guys what I've been up to. So I got a lot of my signage done. I decided, so I have like four of these. One is dedicated to my pricing for my candles, but I decided that I'm gonna go ahead. Okay, okay, you know how a lot of vendors, particularly the ones in my field selling like the soaps and the bath bombs and stuff, they'll do a, let's just say like buy one for $7, three for 16 or something like that. Well, that kind of limits people though to having to buy one thing and multiples of one thing like if i do that special on my wax melts then that's all you get that special on is the wax melts or the soaps or whatever so i decided what i'm gonna do is like a spend and save so if you spend 25 dollars, you get five percent off your entire purchase thirty-five dollars ten percent off and forty five dollars fifteen percent off so that still encourages the customers to purchase more and it's a good discount and it's not too much off my bottom line. So, and I think the customers will just like that better because then they can shop across the whole store and not have to, like I said, just pick up like three bars of soap or three bath bombs or whatever. So we'll test that out for this year and see how that goes. I also got my, if you guys don't know how, I have a couple of cool things in my store. So for this year, people can pick out a car diffuser, they can pick out a scent and then bring the car diffuser to me and then I'll fill it there on the spot for them with the scent that they chose. I do have some pre-filled from last year, so I'm gonna have that little rack too but I think people will like, you know, like these are more for like what the guys will like the, um, the round black one and the skull. I think the skull is going to be pretty popular on its own, but, um, and then I have the roses and the hearts. And then I just have a little, um, a little thing down here about the refills, the price of the refills so that they know that they can come back and get it refilled anytime that they want. And then the next item, and I'll show you guys this on the screen a little bit, how I have this mini bath bomb bar. So it's kind of like, you know, think about places where you've gone and you've maybe like picked out different kinds of candies to put them together into a bag full of candy. So that's how my mini bath bomb bar works. They're like, the bath bombs are probably about this size and I make all different scents. I put all different kinds of little designs on them and whatever, and then they can fill a bag. It's probably about like five by seven inch. I don't know, I might be way off on my measurements, but it's this little frosted bag that they can fill um, to the top with 
as you know as full as they can get the bag with minis of their choice so that sign is ready to go and then i have my new body butter sign done so i'm going to have two new scents this year so white sand beaches lavender vanilla and cashmere and the seaside wildflowers those were all the ones that i had last year and then at the end of the year i tried a pumpkin oatmeal which was very popular so this year new is going to be my strawberry whip body butter and then also my succulent garden so we'll see how those go but i have that all and these go on there's like little racks that these guys sit in and as long as it's not windy that day they usually stay up so that's those signs. And then, and then I also made this one. You guys have probably heard me talk about before that I don't make any medical promises whatsoever, but it just says, you know, eczema, acne, sensitive skin, tri turmeric or African black. And what I'm gonna do is set this sign right behind where those soaps are sitting. Cause there's plenty of room on the plant stand where those soaps are gonna be sitting. I'm gonna have that sitting right behind it. Um, we're gonna do an unboxing here in just a minute, but I also wanted to show you guys something else. If you've been with me the whole time, you've known that I've had a struggle with um, people picking up my larger candles and getting fingerprints all over them, which makes it so that I have to clean them multiple times throughout a market and or when I get home. And it's just, it's like, time consuming and I just don't have, I have like enough, I have enough to do in the business that I don't need to add an extra thing. So I thought, and there is like smaller candles for them to smell the scents. So each larger candle has a smaller candle sitting in front of it so that they can smell what that scent is. Um, and I still, so I still wanted them to be able to see inside the candle too, because I do a lot of glitter and um, like my smudge candle has black obsidian in it for um, protection. So I thought I would go ahead and just put the lid underneath the candle and just seal it and just seal it up. So what do you guys think? I mean, it's not, it's not a perfect wrapping. It's hard with the heat gun. You know, it puts these bubbles in sometimes and it's very hard to get them out. So some are going to come out really well and some aren't. But I thought that this would just, this would protect everything from any scratches. It will protect it from fingerprints. They can still pick up the candle if they want. They can smell the tester candle. And I don't know. What do you guys think? Is this a good solution? Should I do this to all my candles? Okay, so now I have an unboxing to do. And first, before I get to these boxes... I was supposed to have some new bags. According to Amazon, they're sitting in my mailbox. This is literally, I don't know about you guys, if you have this problem with USPS, but usually about once every two weeks, they say that they delivered a, a package to my parcel locker and there's no key and there's no package and there's no anything. I don't know if USPS just sucks in my town, but, um, this will be the third package I have lost that has not been delivered in the last month. So I was supposed to have some white bags here that I was going to talk about um, how I'm going to stamp them and stuff and how they were going to work in conjunction with my other bags that I take to the market, but they're not here. So um, the only thing that I have is I got in these little um, cling wrap, shrink wrap, things for my body butters and I don't know if I'm, I think that's the only thing I'm using these on. So you just wrap these, you just wrap these like around the, around the body butter and it's got the perforated, it's got the little perforated um, lines in it so that people can just rip that down and tear it off. But I'm glad to be sealing my body butters this year too because there's another thing that happens at the marker the markets, even though I have samples of the body butters, like right on top of my checkout stand, they still all the time will pick up the actual body butters that are for sale and start to flip open the lid. And I'm like, no, 
So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, but, um, they will be sealed this time. Maybe the candles will be sealed and this way everybody's a little bit more like the people that are actually purchasing the product know that they're getting something that has only been, you know, in front of me and not opened by somebody else. So I feel good about that this year. So this purchase was a purchase I made late at night on TikTok shop. So this is the first purchase I have ever made on TikTok shop. We're about to see if it's good or if it's garbage or what. I think it was normally like $19 and I got it for like seven. So I couldn't pass it up. It is a new tripod for my phone so that tripod that my phone is sitting on while we're recording right now is only about like this high and it's limited on what it can do as far as like being able to tip over so that I can record more things and show you guys more stuff of what I'm doing. So this one in the TikTok, they made it sound like it could do it all. And it goes up to 62 inches high and is supposed to be able to stand really well on its own. And, um, and even if I can't spread the arms that far apart, it still is supposed to be able to stand like on a narrow, if I need to put it on a narrow ledge or something, it is supposed to be able to stand up better. So of course I won't be able to use this right now while we're recording, but I don't know this, this thing looks pretty sturdy. And I like how this is easier to lift up here because I have the iPhone Pro Max and the one that I currently use, I have to fight to get it in this part right here. So it feels like it's got a good weight to it. So I don't know, maybe I'll let you guys know in the next vlog how it worked out, but seven, eight bucks, whatever I paid for it, I feel like that was a steal. All right. The next one, if you guys watched the last vlog, you kind of knew that this one was coming. It is the one from Nurture Soap that I showed at the, the very end of my last vlog. So two things, Nurture Soap is mainly a coloring company. So I could not like order from them without getting some colorants. So I got this mica. It's kind of, I didn't really think that it was going to be, okay, I think this is what I was looking for. So I'm looking for kind of, I am going to need when I do the Mario bath bomb this year, I am going to need kind of like a flush color. I think if I mix this with some of my other colors, I will be able to get the perfect color um, for the flush color I'm looking for. But yeah, so that is the first one that I got. That one's called Rapunzel Mica Powder. And then the next one that I got was a Cornflower Blue um, Enviro Glitter. So I, if you guys know, I only use biodegradable glitter in my products to be responsible to the oceans and so forth, our waterways. So anyways, I couldn't resist getting um, this blue color. It looks so pretty. So I'll add that to the glitter collection. Okay, you guys, I did not order these. So I guess they just threw in some bonuses. So this to me, I'm not really sure, but this looks like maybe a little thing that you can put the glitter in and then be able to like spray it on something. So that that is really cool. These things are usually pretty pricey. So if that's what they sent to me, I think I like this company. This is my first time ordering from them. And then they sent me a little sample of a green color that I probably need and really like. So a little extra mica. Ooh. And then a little bag. I like these guys. I read, I read up on their website, like they're all family owned and everything. They have a very small amount of employees, like 11 or 15 employees or something like that. Okay, so there's the 8th in Ocean. 
So I'm going to make one last soap batch before markets begin, and that is the White Sand Beaches that if you guys have been watching, you know I've been trying and trying and trying to get this batch done. So hopefully this is, I'm going to smell it real quick. I don't know if that makes me think of the beach. Okay, well we'll use it anyways. It's a very it's a very popular scent and I like how it smells. I just don't know that it reminds me of the beach exactly. And then I got a new black raspberry vanilla. I have another one from Candle Science. But um I only have a very small little bottle of it, so I thought let's get let's get another one added to the collection. And then these two are, I have cream and honey here and caramel and honey. So I have another supplier that I order from and I don't like ordering from them. And that's where I get my pure honey scent from. But I, I'm trying to reduce the amount of stuff that I order from this other company. Cause like I said, just their customer service is horrible and they don't do rewards. They don't send you free little cool things that like they don't, they don't, they just don't seem to appreciate their customers. So I'm trying to see if I can replace the honey scent. Maybe this one, maybe the caramel and honey. I will have to put them on like the little tester strips and see how they smell on the paper because scents out of the bottle are really hard to tell how, like how they're gonna smell in a product. All right, and this last item is a new soap mold. So right now I only have three pounds soap molds and I I would go ahead and get something bigger so that I can make a five pound mold at one time. And I mean, this had all five star reviews. Anyways, this is my first five pound soap mold. It also is, I have another um, soap mold that's in wood, but it is, um, I just don't use it very often. So I'm, I'm also happy to have another one that's in wood. And then it's got the holes here at the bottom. So when I'm done with the soap, I can just press this out. And then this, this mold is actually going to be a lot easier to get off of the soap than my other ones are. So this is like, these are just like sober dreams. All right, this next one, if I wasn't excited about that order, I am so excited about this next one. So when I was shipping out the last order, to the customer that ordered 11 of my uh, Mason Dark candles. I was feeling, well, actually, I've been watching other YouTubers for a while have this kind of take for their packages. And I just decided, screw it, I need my own. So I went into Canva and I designed this so if you guys don't know this packaging tape, you have to like wet it. It has adhesive on the bottom. You have to wet it before you apply it to the package. Um, a lot of people have those um, little dispensers where they can put water in the bottom and then just slide it through and it the dispenser will wet it as it comes out. They tear it off and then they put it on the package. I watched other people's YouTube videos and they, so they include this little sponge. I know this doesn't look like a sponge, but once I wet it, I guess it's going to fully expand and I can literally just wet the back of it and apply it to the packages. They said you really only need those dispensers if you're doing more than like a few packages a day. And right now I probably only ship out, I don't know, one package a week at most. So, I mean, hopefully that increases. Um, but anyways, to give you guys an idea, so I went ahead and put handmade up here. I didn't put in Colorado because you guys, this is a big roll and I'm gonna be moving to New Mexico in 
a few years. So I may still have this then. So I just put handmade and then I put my website under here. Here's my new logo. I have lavender all along the bottom. And then this right here says contents. Contents of this package are excited to meet you. And then I have just some little neon flowers here. And then there's my logo again. And then this one says, thank you for supporting small business. And then it just repeats and repeats. So anyways, I am so excited to put this on my packaging from now on because, you know, like what inspired me to do this was uh, way back when I used to buy like makeup from Too Faced. And when you get their pack, you know, back when I could afford that kind of stuff. And then when you get their packages in the mail, like it's, it's all the packaging just makes you really excited to open the package. And so that's how I want my customers to feel when they order from me. So I think this is just really going to add, you know, extra branding to my business. It's going to be a good thing. I'm also going to link a $10 discount to sticker mule down below. If you guys haven't used them before, it's a $10 off $30 purchase. This for 300 feet was 29. So I got, I used my $10 off from another YouTuber. Um, but so in order for me to be able to use the $10, I had to also order a t-shirt that is not here yet. So I will show it to you guys, but it's basically just this logo here without the butterfly right here on the shirt. And I ordered a medium size one and I will wear that to some of the markets. All right, so that is it for the unboxing. Unfortunately, I don't have those bags. I will show you guys those when they come in because what I'm gonna do is my other ones are purple and I stamp them with a white stamp of my logo, which again is my old logo. I don't know when I'll get around to updating these things, maybe next year. And then the new bags are white and I was gonna, I already have a purple stamp, so I was gonna stamp them with um, purple on the outside of my logo. So I'll have to wait until those come in to show those to you guys. Hey guys, I did not get to making bath bombs just yet. I decided to do a quick run to Target and to go to the car wash to get my car clean so that I can put its car cover back on so the sun doesn't eat away at it. But I decided to run through the Target section, the dollar section really quick. Well, I always run through there, but you know, like it's hit or miss. So probably like two or three vlogs ago, I was talking about needing a new trash can to take to the markets. And I had bought like an $8 one off of Amazon that can fold down. You guys, all I need for the market, a trash can, is for just something for the customers to throw away the little sticks that they use to test the body butters. Dollar section. This was a dollar in the dollar section of Target. Little mini trap. This is all I need. This is literally all I need. And like a lot of people, because they're, you know, I don't know, people are like disoriented at markets or whatever. So sometimes if I'm not paying attention, they'll just set the sticks down on the table, which is no bueno for me because I have white tablecloths. But like, if I could just put this right there in front of, you know, and I could just throw them right in there. I don't need that other one and it's probably too late to return it. I guess I'll just use it for like a car trash can when I go on trips. <laughs> Anyways, always worth walking through the dollar section at Target if you are doing markets. Always worth it. Hey, it's now Wednesday. I did not get to making bath bombs yesterday, but I will do that today. Instead, I worked on some car diffuser stuff, but I wanted to show you guys that I got my t-shirt from sticker mule so i like it i like it they sent me some little stickers and a little coaster i am in the middle of or about to drink my chocolate mint smoothie and then i think i'm going to go ahead and seal up the rest of these candles so i'm gonna wipe them down clean them up and then get them sealed the way i did with the lavender vanilla one that i showed you guys so let's get to it
set your waist, set your waist, set your waist. Looking on the city lights, flashing bright in my eyes. Look up to the sky and I got this relief inside, and there's no need to hide. I'm going. I got a bit distracted. Sticker Mule sent out an offer for 50 stickers for only nine bucks. So I created this really quick in Canva and put in the order and approved the proof. So I haven't quite gotten to bath bombs yet, but this is good for marketing. I think I'll go ahead and hand these out for like the first people, the first 50 people that buy my mini bath bombs, especially if they have like their kids with them, then their kids can have a sticker and then, you know, that's great marketing. Okay, so now I'm going to leave my computer and let's get into making some bath bombs.
All right, guys, so I am all done with these bath bombs. They are ready to go. These little labels are gonna work perfectly. I went ahead and attached one or put one on this bath bomb right here. So see, it, because it's so small, no crinkles, no lifting off of the bath bomb, so this is perfect. So I just have to snip these little guys so that they don't stab anyone. And then these are all ready to go. These are bath bombs that I have not painted yet. Join me for next week's vlog as I talk about which one of these bath bombs worked like a dream and which ones were nightmares. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can see that next vlog and like and comment while you're there. I'll see you guys next week.